I think typically when people hear the word stress, what comes to mind is like problems, worries, tension, pressure, things like that. But what I found, and the more skillful way of looking at stress, is really that it's about change. Whenever there's change in life, even good changes, it can cause stress. Think about it. Christmas, the holidays, a wedding, having a child or a grandchild, starting a new job, moving. Good, but still that change causes stress. Another important factor is that some people actually thrive on stress. Uh, firefighters, military, police, emergency room staff. These individuals can have high stress every day and love it. It's what they do. Where you're going to have another person who might hate change. They can have one little change and be going all to pieces. So that's individual difference. The common ground, whether you love stress or hate it, is that stress is physical. It sends powerful chemicals into the body, adrenaline, noradrenaline, cortisol, that can affect all the body systems. It can make your muscles tense, blood pressure up, stomach acid up, pain worse, trouble sleeping, nerves on edge, blood sugar for the diabetic can go up. Really, it can affect the whole person. Because so many of us in the healthcare field, we're much more comfortable with giving to others than letting people give to us. And so, if you can overcome that little bit of a barrier, and then receiving help. Now, it could be as simple as uh, nurses on the floor asking someone to give them a hand. The idea that you realize, oh, I need to take care of me, here's why. The quality of our service to others improves, as we take care of ourselves. One of the, uh, the big things I do in the hospital with patients, I think this could apply to employees as, as well, is that you know everyone says relax, don't worry, but they never tell you how. So in the sense of teaching how to relax and how to cut down on worry, uh, there's a simple three-step technique that I teach. And I've actually been involved in research study with people inpatient learning about this as well as people in the community. So I see this as something that could benefit both patients and families and employees and staff as well.